Ezra Scarlet's sword, Lucy Hartphilia's key, Shiro's crown, Black Butler's watch, and a mask from Tokyo Ghoul? Learn how to create makeup inspired by our favorite anime characters. Redhead loves the anime Fairy Tale. She imagines she's a magician and a guild member, so it means she absolutely needs armor, just like Ezra Scarlet's. Make a cutout of armor for arms from a gray foam rubber sheet. Fold it and cut out the top part. Fasten all the details together with double-sided tape. Coat the foam rubber sheet with dissolved acrylic paint. Create a transition from light to dark. Define the edges with gold acrylic paint. Add shades. Hot glue Velcro to the sides. Cut a wing from a soft foam sheet. Define it with acrylic paint and hot glue it to the top part of the armor. Samantha visits her friend, just in time to help her fasten her armor. Is this some kind of new fashion trend? Redhead shows off her favorite character. It's the warrior Ezra Scarlet, and Redhead wants to be just like her. But she is missing one thing, a magician's weapon. Then, the girls quickly make their own sword. Cut a sword outline from thick cardboard. Cut off the blade. Hot glue the pieces of the sword to eyeliner so that it opens. Use hot glue to make the iconic pattern of Ezra Scarlet's sword. Coat the sword with white primer. Separate the handle. Color the blade with silver acrylic spray paint. Coat the handle with burgundy and gold acrylic paint. And define a golden pattern on the blade. Add red rhinestones. The weapon is all done. Redhead Scarlet is ready to fight. Don't be afraid, Samantha. I'm just going to line your eyes with this sword. Stevie is hard at work playing chess. And the girls don't understand anything. The only thing they know about chess is the anime, no game, no life. The girls decide to cheer him up. You shouldn't be this serious. Redhead distracts Stevie and Samantha steals a piece from the board. And how is Stevie supposed to end the game now? Where is the king? Melt lip balm in a microwave. Add food coloring to it. Pour the lip balm into the hollow bottom of a chess piece. Cover it with a fitting cap. Hot glue a wire loop. Color it with acrylic paints. Create a soft transition from pink to purple. Hang the pendant on a fishing line. Samantha shows off her amulet. She imagines herself as Shiro from the anime No Game No Life. Chess is her favorite game. And there is also lip gloss in this chess piece. Samantha can't give Stevie the king back. Sorry, buddy. Redhead is catching up too. She shows up to the chess tournament wearing a Shiro crown. She hopes she wins. Trace a template on a foam rubber sheet and cut out a crown. Fasten it with double-sided tape. Cut out a base. Tape the pieces together. Cut out little prongs and outlines of precious stones from a glittering foam rubber sheet. Attach the pieces to the crown. Define the prongs with gold acrylic paint. Cut rainbow artificial hair extensions into thin locks. Make a hot glue base. Attach them inside the crown. Glue thick hair extensions to the base of the crown. Color a plastic headband with acrylic paint. Coat it with nail polish. Hot glue the crown. Redhead loves her colored hair, but this is way too much. The girls turn Stevie's chess game into a cosplay carnival. It's impossible. 
Samantha's wearing cute ears. She looks exactly like that cat, Happy, from the Legal Guild of Fairy Tale. Cut keychain rings off blue fluffy hearts. Sew them to a headband as ears. Cut the triangular ear centers out of pink faux leather. Sew them to the fur. Make the ears brighter with a blue marker. Coat the headband with acrylic paint. Secure it with nail polish. Paint three black stripes on the ears. Our cat's lips are chapped. Samantha applies regular EOS onto them. But she doesn't share with Redhead. Then Redhead will make her own EOS. It will be better than her friends. Scrape the fairy tale guild symbol in the center of EOS balm. Add blue food coloring to the remaining lip balm and fill the symbol with it. Wrap the EOS cap in self-hardening clay. Shape a cat head with ears. When dry, coat the clay with acrylic primer and color the EOS with acrylic paints. Add Happy's face. Redhead created EOS that deserves to be a part of the Magic Guild. There is even the fairy tale symbol here, and it's guarded by none other than Happy. Now it's Samantha's turn to be jealous, but Redhead is a kind magician. She shares her happy EOS. The girls are watching Tokyo Ghoul. The atmosphere is so tense. They see evil spirits everywhere. And Stevie frightens the girls with his mask. Cut a base for a mask out of black faux leather. Mark the size of a zipper. Cut out a hole for it. Hot glue a zipper inside. Draw a mouth around the zipper. Coat it with primer and paint it red. Cut teeth out of white leather. Hot glue them on both sides of the zipper. Separate the teeth with black acrylic paint. Make a leather eye patch. Cut out the shape you need. Hot glue it to the corner of the mask. Sew two elastic ribbons to the eye patch. Cut out two tucks on the chin and sew them. Attach a leather cross to the eye patch. Define it with white acrylic paint. The girls are scared out of their minds. The ghoul's mask looks very realistic. Stevie managed to prank them. If only you could see your faces. Stevie prepared a surprise for the girls as an excuse. It's a mini ghoul mask with makeup. Take broken eyeshadow out of a palette. Microwave an old lipstick and put it into the palette. Draw an outline of the Tokyo Ghoul's mask on cardboard. Make two pieces. Trace and cut the same pieces out of black faux leather. Hot glue leather to cardboard. Draw a mouth with a white marker. Make a 3D nose from a piece of leather. Paint the mouth red. Attach rhinestones facing downwards to the top. Draw a white strip on lips. Cover it with silver acrylic paint. And attach a pull tab so that it looks like a zipper. Make teeth from a foam rubber sheet. Attach them to the mask. Glue the makeup palette between the two layers of the mask. Cover the sides with a strip of black leather. Decorate the mask with different nuts. The girls open the mask and see a makeup palette. This ghoul mask doesn't seem that scary now. Thanks, Stevie! What a great gift for anime fans! And now let's take a selfie with the Tokyo Ghoul. Samantha looks like a character from Fairy Tale. She turned into Lucy Hartphilia and copied her iconic hairdo. Coat a headband with blue acrylic paint. Hot glue blonde hair extensions to it. Wrap a blue ribbon around it. 
hot glue it and tie a knot. Glue the ends of the ribbon. Fold them like bunny ears. Decorate the knot with rhinestones. Samantha is so adorable! The resemblance is striking! But the Lucy look isn't complete yet! Our Lucy needs a key to summon celestial spirits! Her magic won't work without it! Fold cardboard in half. Draw a key outline and cut it out. Separate the piece. Hot glue eyeliner to it. Make it more 3D with hot glue. Paint the key gold. Draw a zodiac sign on cardboard and hot glue the sign to the key. Add rhinestones. Redhead went through the entire universe and found the golden key. It summons the spirits of beauty. Because it's actually eyeliner. Lucy Samantha will save this world. The girls are having fun again. Let's add some aristocracy. Samantha made a bow just like the one CL from Black Butler has. Fold wide blue ribbon crosswise and sew it. Pull up the thread. Fold the ribbon and trim the ends to be V-shaped. Fold thinner and darker ribbon accordion style. Wrap and fasten it in the center. Hot glue the bows together. Add a darker bow on top and hanging ends of the dark ribbon. Wrap the center of the bow with the same ribbon. Attach a ribbon for the neck to the back. Hot glue Velcro. Add a decorative stone. This exquisite bow looks great on Redhead, but one detail is missing to complete the look. Samantha brings an eye patch. Cut a circle from black felt. Sew two pieces of black ribbon to it. Redhead puts on the eye patch. Now she looks exactly like CL. She feels much more aristocratic right away. High class people never know how to clean up after themselves. So Stevie has to deal with the girl's mess. He's so caring, just like the butler, Sebastian. Stevie takes out his heirloom watch to look exactly like him. Print out a picture of a pocket watch from the anime Black Butler. Attach it to a round mirror. Trace the pattern with hot glue. Attach a jewelry supply connector on top as a watch crown. And a round necklace pendant. Coat it with gold spray paint. Make it look old using a sponge with black paint. Attach colored chain. Put in hairstyling wax. Stevie Sebastian takes out the watch to fix his hair. Just be careful not to make our butler demon mad. Did you like our anime cosplay ideas? Then write in the comments which anime character is your favorite. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you don't miss new videos on Troom Troom.